Um, but yeah. with your resume, it's very clear uh, why I asked for your help in writing that workbook for Capture the Flag, our last record. Um, I do, what do you remember about that process of helping me with that? Uh, I remember it was really cool because ly lyrically, like as a fan of music, um, I always love to kind of, you know, read the kind of like behind the scenes of like, you know, lyrics. So sometimes when you're listening to your favorite song, sometimes the lyrics are um, very obvious. But other times they're a little bit more vague and, uh, you know, you'll try to figure out the meaning and, uh, you know, when they're more ambiguous, it's just kind of really interesting. So I really like that you were up front and kind of giving the background to the songs. And then you were also giving an educational element to it too. Mm -hmm. So when I think you put on Twitter, hey, does anyone want to help with this? I was like, heck yeah, I would love to because... <laughs> Um, I mean, first of all, the other Capture the Flag was, was rad. It was a great record. And uh, I really like the fact that you wanted to do something with, you wanted to do something with the record other than just the traditional bundle. You wanted to add something that was, had an edu educational element to it. And I think it's really cool because um, when bands do things like that, you know, like sometimes like deluxe versions, you get kind of like behind the scenes, but you were, you were doing something more interactive and immersive because people who generally listen to like this type of music and are at, have the activist attitude want to learn more and, and they want to, they want to do more. So I think the fact that you want to do something like that uh, was really cool. And I just remember the process, like for me, cause you, we came up with questions, I, I believe we, mm -hmm. did, we, we did questions and then we had like resources. And I remember, so I've taught, I, I teach high school and I've taught, um, STAR, which is basically in Texas, it's like the standardized testing that sophomores have to take. And I also have uh, taught that to seniors too. So like, and also I've, I've done some curriculum assistance, like curriculum writing too at the district level. So I kind of know how to come up with questions that are gonna elicit certain mm. responses. And uh, I knew we were going for an older audience too. So I had to kind of, one of the things I wanted to aim at is just having these upper level thinking questions where it wasn't just what do you think this song is about? You know, it was, it was, it was <laughs> right. That's the kind <laughs> of uh, interview questions I get uh, yeah. <laughs> on some blogs. Is so just tell us what the song's about. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely wanted something more than that too. <laughs> now, you do you think that um, like do you see a lot of these kinds of resources being offered to teachers? Like, do you, is it helpful? Do you wish more bands did that or yeah, artists absolutely. in general? Absolutely. I think like at a college level, like I think when we're coming up with it, I said, hey, this this will work for college because like for high school, it's like way too like controversial. You know, what I mean, like <laughs> it's, it's really not. But it's like in terms like everything is controversial in high school. Sure. For kids. In Texas. I get it. Yeah. In Texas, too. I mean, yeah, like it's even like like uh, text like Frankenstein and like Beowulf. You have some like letters on, even though there's like nothing Gee. controversial about those at all. It's just kind of like a thing you have to do. Um, so I was like, you know, in college though, like that stuff's encouraged, you know? Um, and I just remember when I was in college, I went to the university of Houston here in Texas and I, I wrote for the school paper and I was like really immersed in journalism. And I just remember how, um, helpful all the, the music labels were in terms of with college papers and uh, journalism students, because so much of their target audience was like that age group. So like, oh God, I got so much good press in, you know, just when I was learning how to be a journalist, like any band interview I got, no matter how big the artist, because they were like, oh, it's, it's a it's a school paper and this is, you know, a large audience, you know? Um, so I just remember, oh, you want to cover Warped Door? Cool, you got it. Um, you want an interview, you want to interview Tom Belange backstage at Angels and Airwaves and Weezer? You got it. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, you want to interview Bad Religion on the bus? Cool. So it was like all these like childhood things, like dreams came true, you know, getting to interview Greg mm -hmm. Raffin, uh, Tom Belange, all these people I grew up idolizing. So it's really cool in college to see how, you know, um, how labels really kind of market to that audience. But like with something like you were doing, it's like, man, this is right up kind of the, the academic difficulty. And not only that, the, the maturity level of, of the students. Like that's why, you know, when we're coming up with the questions, I wanted to come up with something next level. Because like in a sociology class or even like an upper level English class, those are the type of discussions that are easier to have with young adults.